Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming and thank you for having us. My name is Mariam Kintu. I am Ugandan and proud. So being here today, <laughs> yes, being here today is such an honor to celebrate Uganda being 55. I know because of everything that I've done in the past, I get people to brand me as Nigerian, Ghanaian, because of what I've done or because of what I've achieved. No, I am Ugandan and proud. I am the CEO of Miss Pride of Africa UK and I am proud to say that this is our third year running. We are a very different beauty pageant in the UK. We are one of the most, one of the beauty pageants in the UK that have no height or weight restriction. If you look through the girls, we've got 16 contestants this year, but if you look, we've got different sizes, we've got different shapes, we've got different heights. Why? It's because an African woman is created in different shapes and sizes. Every African woman is different and they deserve to represent who they really are. So we're not a typical beauty pageant whereby you have to be skinny, you have to look nice, you have to be this, you have no. Miss Pride of Africa, UK accepts you as you are. This year we've only got 16 contestants, but we had 50 applicants. Simply because we wanted the ones that were proud to be African, the ones that were serious about what they're doing, the ones that were passionate about what they're doing. But today's appearance, I'm proud to say, that we have nine contestants. But all these contestants, we've only got two Ugandans today. But as Africans, we have to be united. And we have to be proud and we have to support each other. All of these young ladies here, they're here to support Uganda because they believe we are one. Even though most of them are not Ugandan, but they took time out of their busy schedules on a Friday evening to come and support Uganda because they believe that we're all brothers, brothers and sisters and we're all one as Africans. Okay, guys, it's not all about me. These young ladies, Miss Pride of Africa UK is not just a beauty pageant, like I said. Miss Pride of Africa UK is a charitable beauty pageant. If you go on our website, on all our socials, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, we do charity work whereby the winner of the pageant gets to go back to their own country and fulfill their campaign and do some charity work for Miss Pride of Africa UK. When we first launched in 2015, the winner was from Ghana. And personally, I went back to Ghana with the winner and we did charity in Ghana. And I am proud to say that today, the winner in 2015 is an ambassador that bridges the gap between the Ghanaian youth in the UK and Ghana. And today, since we've got the Uganda High Commissioner here, I would request that some of the contestants that we work with, you're going to hear some of their campaigns. If you could kindly help or give a hand to work with them, because we've worked with some contestants who have not won in the last two years, but they've actually gone back to Uganda and they've, did, they've actually done so many great things, but it's because they haven't got somebody to help them up. Hence why whatever they've done is just a little bit and it hasn't gone any further. So with your help, it would really, really help uplift Uganda and help do the best that we could all together as one. 
All right, without no further ado, I would like to invite each contestant to introduce themselves, the country they're from, and to tell us a little bit about why they entered Miss Pride of Africa UK and their campaigns, what they would like to change, what they would like to see change, or what they're looking to do in case they're crowned. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nicole Noize, and I represent Nigeria. And I decided to enter Miss Pride of Africa UK because it was a great opportunity for me to get the chance to um, continue what has always been my heart, which is support free education in Africa. I believe that every child deserves a chance, and if other countries, other continents of the world can provide free education, I believe that every child in Africa should have free education, and hopefully uh, this is just the start, and we can work together making this possible. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noor Kolumba, and I am representing Uganda. Yeah. The reason I have entered Miss Pride of Africa UK 2017 is because I want to get my campaign, Female Uprise, further along. My campaign is based on education in Uganda because 57% of children do not finish school and most of them are female. And I want to change this because if you educate a man, you educate an individual, but if you educate a female, you educate a nation. And that's what I want to do. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Elizabeth Akinbade, and I'm representing Nigeria. I'm actually a fashion designer, and I think people find fashion quite inspiring, but don't know how to get into the industry. So for me, I share my skills. I'm a print designer and a fashion designer. So I've been running workshops for the past two years. They're called YMD Design Workshops. And they allow young girls in Hackney to be able to put their skills into actually a real career. So in Nigeria, we always admire lawyers and bankers and engineers, but actually fashion is the second biggest industry after oil and gas. It's the fastest growing. So I want to share skills to allow other girls to realize their dream of being a creative. Um, and that's all. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Crystal Mungu, and I'm representing the Cameroon. I joined this beauty pageant because I am big passionate with uh, black empowerment, and I truly believe in unity through diversity. My campaign is about I'm, I'm fighting for the right of albino community in Africa. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Karima, and I'm representing Niger, which is in West Africa. Um, so there are two reasons why I joined this pageant. The first one is because I've noticed that not many people know about my country. So Niger is the widest uh, country in West Africa, and it's a very wealthy um, country as well. So I would like more of my fellow African uh, sisters and brothers to know about uh, this beautiful country. So that's the main reason. And the second reason is because as a black woman, I've um, experienced uh, discrimination, and we know that we are, you know, as black women, more prone to discrimination. So I joined this pageant because uh, to empower black women is really important to me. Um, we have to be united as uh, Africans, and uh, unity is the secret for Africa's de development. So it's really important that we all come together, regardless of, of uh, which country we are, we are from. And um, my campaign is called uh, Help Malawi. So what they do, uh, they help teachers uh, to educate uh, poor children living in rural areas and uh, heavily rely on volunteers. So 
it, education is really important. Uh, we know that it's linked to uh, poverty. So the more illiterate people are, the less chances they have to develop and find uh, a nice job and to um, uh, make, it, make it in life. So that's why I'm supporting this charity. Uh, if you want to know more, you can come to me or visit the website, which is helpchildren.org. And um, I'm hoping to see you all on the 4th of November uh, to support us at the finals of Miss Pride of Africa. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy independence to all the Ugandans in this room. My name is Marlene Mayele, and I'm representing one of your neighboring countries, which is Congo. <laughs> Thank you very much. The reason why I joined Ms. Pride of Africa was to embrace the fact that we are all Africans. I may be from Congo, but I want to socialize and mingle with my other Africans. And I'm all up for lady empowerment, and I wanted to share and also gain knowledge from other African countries. My campaign is all about family relations, stress and depression among young women, especially those who've experienced child labor in such a young age, but have not had any hand or any family or anyone to help them through it and as you all know in Africa some people go through this not willingly because they've either been brought up in a background where it's unstable they either find themselves in a position where they're unstable because of war or because of the the economy in the country or perhaps excuse me to say the word because they were raped but yet no one understands the trauma that people go through within these situations and they overlook Africans tend to overlook stress and depression and say oh no 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 that's not a black people thing but it is and we need to overcome it and deal with it thank you very much Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chabet Harriet Lisa from Uganda, the eastern part of Uganda. Uh, the reason I joined the pageant of Miss Pride of Africa is because it's a pageant, a unique pageant that emphasizes on charity and helping the unprivileged. You know, sometimes when we leave our home countries, Many people think we have forgotten what we left behind. We know the people we left behind are really in a very needy and devastating situation. Well, my campaign is about female, it's, it, my campaign is in support of total eradication of female genital mutilation, not only in Uganda, but in Africa. Having grown up in Kapchorwa, I'm so unlucky that my tribe in Uganda practices female genital mutilation. Somehow I am lucky. Fortunately, I narrowly escaped female genital mutilation, but all my agements and friends in the village had to undergo this cruel practice. So why am I on this campaign? Is because I know the government and so many NGOs have come about to stop the total eradication of female genital mutilation, but there is one thing they have forgotten, the victims, the already victims of female genital mutilation. These are people who need emotional support. They need medical support because many of them are prone to getting reproductive health infections. So in my campaign, I am emphasizing not only the total eradication, but I I want us to support even the already victims through counseling them, providing them with materials, health materials, and all the rest. So I welcome you all to join me in, in supporting, eradicating this very cruel practice. Thank you. Happy Independence, Uganda. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, apologies, I'm feeling a bit nervous. Uh, but um, I want to talk about myself. First of all, my name is Samora, and uh, I am representing Sudan. And thank you. Um, one of the reasons why I have joined Miss Pride of Africa, first of all, is to meet these lovely ladies. Uh, my work or my campaign is about unity or African women uniting. 
and uh, support, supporting the hardworking women. Uh, I'm an artist, so I do a lot of um, workshop with children and women, uh, supporting them with craft making and um, being able to actually achieve money through that. Um, thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sanait Mahari. I'm representing Eritrea. For the last two years, I've been working for women empowerment. Uh, I have a team that I've worked with for two years, traveling, and we were supporting women who have been crossing over borders and, you know, um, getting in between of situations that has nothing to do with them. So we've been supplying, supporting them. When I found out about Miss Pride of Africa, um, I found out that how they are also part of women empowerment. And while I, during these two years, I've noticed a lot of Africans in UK has been divided a lot. And I find it that how we need support with each other. Without unity, we won't raise, not rise nowhere. That's why I believe when one rise, we all rise. And I'm very appreciative for having me here. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Miss Pride, some of Miss Pride of Africa UK 2017 contestants. And I would like to say thank you so much for having us. We're so humbled to be here. It proves and shows that Ugandans are ready to unite with any other African. The fact that you've invited us here, and that's a very good gesture. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Lastly, I would like to invite you all on November 4th to come and support the lovely ladies, Art Bowling Banqueting Suite. Your support will be very much appreciated. <laughs>